Hello, my name is Athena Bishka, and today I'd like to talk about a research study on multiple choice tests conducted by a group of researchers and published at Psychological Science Journal in 2012. But first, let's take a look at what drove the need for this study. Why was it conducted? This is why. Although widely used, multiple choice tests do not exactly have a good reputation. At the heart of the criticism is the claim that multiple choice tests simply focus on recognition processes. Essentially, this means that all you have to do as a learner is to recognize the correct answer, which is already displayed. Thus, there is no need for you to exercise mental efforts by retrieving pertinent information from memory, which is necessary to recall or to figure out and articulate the correct answer. So the researchers wanted to find out, do multiple choice tests focus on recognition processes only? Are they inferior to cute recall tests or otherwise known as short answer tests? Can they trigger productive retrieval processes? To answer these questions, they conducted two experiments. Experiment 1 sought to assess the effects of an initial cute recall test and an initial multiple choice test on the participants' performance on a final test. The final test contained questions identical to those used in the initial test or control items. And I will use here items and questions interchangeably. The final test also contained items covering related content. So, what were the results? The results of initial tests indicated that first, the number of correct answers for the multiple choice test was larger than those given for the queued recall test. And secondly, the initial multiple choice test improved later recall of the tested information more than the initial queued recall test did. Furthermore, the results on final tests indicated that when participants took the initial cute recall test, the final test performance on related items was worse than that on their corresponding control items. But when participants took an initial multiple choice test, final test performance on related items was slightly higher than that on their corresponding control items. Experiment 2 was identical to experiment 1 except for one edit condition. The participants received feedback indicating the correct answer to each question on the initial test. The goal here was to assess how the feedback on an initial multiple choice test impacts the retention of related information. So, what were the results? When feedback was provided, final test recall of previously tested information improved. However, the improvement was nearly the same regardless of whether the test was multiple choice test or queued recall test. Furthermore, recall of information re related to multiple choice test incorrect alternatives was sustained. It was sustained even when the participants were given feedback during the initial test. So, in summary, the results discussed above indicate that multiple choice tests are not inferior to queued recall tests. They can force learners to think why the alternatives are incorrect answers which is very important because this clearly indicates that multiple choice tests have a superior advantage over the queued recall tests. Multiple choice tests also help foster learning of both previously tested and related content. And last but not least, and this is a very important but that probably needs another video coverage, Ensure that your multiple choice tests are well constructed and contain plausible alternatives. To learn more, 
please use the information that is shared on the screen. Thank you for your attention.